Shalom Bataya. It's King Kashim Malakashim. I have a question for you all. What language, Lashan, the Yahayasha, Hamashaya, speak in his time of walking on earth and speak to us today through his Chazaya visions? You feel what I'm saying? So, we're going to start with Mashaya X, chapter 26, verse 14. And it says, And when we had all fallen to the ground, I heard a voice speaking to me and saying in the Hebrew language, Abaria Lashan, Shaya, Shaya, why do you persecute me? It is hard for you to kick against the prides. Or, in other words, to follow the way, the law. And I said, who are you, master? And he said, I am Yahayasha, whom you persecute. All right? So Yahayasha spoke and speak the Abaria, ancient Hebrew language, not the modern Hebrew language that was created by uh, the state of Israel in 1948, but ancient Proto Sinaitic Paleo Hebrew, which is the Aramic, Edenic, Anakian, Hanakian language of creation. All right, so let's now go to Matatia chapter 1, verse 21, Matthew. Salakia is actually Matatia chapter 1, verse 21. I don't know if I said that already. <laughs> I done been to a lot, y'all. I'm not even going to redo the video. Like, it is what it is. This is the real me. Shalom. All right, and it reads, And she shall give birth to a Baniya, not a son. Son is for son worship. We are not doing that. Straight up. Son is for son. Study etymology, you'll get to the point where you must know the Bari Alashan. You feel what I'm saying? Just like the word black means to become pale, to become white, and so forth. All right, now, Baniya, Ba, is the temple, the body, Na, that continue, that endure, Ya, as the creator. It's the right hand, ha, of life to reveal these revelations to us, for us to live, to live forever, life, to be alive. All right? And she shall give birth to a Baniya, and you shall call his name Yahayasha, Yahayasha, for he shall deliver, save his people from their sins, Chata. Yah, an ancient Abaria. Hebrew is he. Ha is the. Yasha is deliverer. He's the deliverer. Yaha Yasha. Let's bring it back. Yah is he. Haya is who is, who will, who shall. And Yasha is deliver, save. Who shall deliver? He who shall deliver, he who shall save. He who will deliver. He who will deliver. He's the deliverer. You feel what I'm saying? The deliverer. Like, it just goes back and forth. His name. Yasha. Yaha Yasha. Said there's only Yasha and one name. Deliverance and Achasham. One Sham. All right. He who shall deliver. Now let's go back to Mashaya X, chapter four, verse twelve. And there is no Yasha. Deliverance, 
See, this is what I like, right? And there is no Yasha in anyone else. It's not literally. All these other names say Washa, Washi, Uwasha, Hosha, Huwasha, Yasha. There is Yasha and there is no Yasha deliverance in anyone else. For there is no other name, Sham, under the heaven, Shamaya, given among men by which we need to be delivered, Yasha. And seeing the bonus of Kafaya and Yahyachanan, Yahyachanan, and perceiving that they were unlearned and ordinary men, they marvel and they recognize that they had been with Yahyasha. They've been with He who is the Savior. They've been with He who is the Creator of life, who is alive. That that was before is who will be, but. That was hung on this stake to deliver us as the deliverer or who is the deliverer or who shall deliver us or who shall save. Because Yah, the word of Yah and Yahyasha, you find what I'm saying? The word of Yah is the water, right? That give us life. The Maya, the Mayam. And Yahyasha is the temple, the greater tabernacle, the body, the blood, the flesh on earth, right? That walked on earth. And Yahya is right, Kadayasha, the spirit that created everything. You feel what I'm saying? Shalom. There's no trinity. There's no three people. It is the creation of men. All right? Spirit, water, flesh. All right? Spirit, water, blood. It's a sign. Spiritual. But let's jump down to verse 17. And it says, but in order that it spreads no further among the people, let us strongly threaten them to speak no more to anyone in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Yahayasha. Yahayasha. All right. Now let's go to Yabalium, Jubilees, chapter 25, chapter 12, Salakia, verse 25. And it says, Abariyam, before I thought it was Abariyam, um, from Abraham, and then Yahyasha showed me his name in Hebrews, because he is the father of the Hebrews. Um, so it's Abariyam, and the Hebrew is Abariya. You see what I'm saying? So Hebrews Abaria, Abaraham, and actually Abariyam, and the Hebrew is Abaria. And Yahya, Alahya, not Elohim, said, Open his mouth and his ears, that he may hear and speak with his mouth, with the language Lashan, which has been revealed, which which has been revealed. For it has ceased from the mouth of all the children of men from the day of the overthrow from Babel, the Tower of Babel. And I open his mouth and his ears and his lips, and I begin to speak with him in Abariah, in the tongue of creation. And he took the books of his fathers, and these were written in Abariah. And he transcribed them, and he began to study them. And I made known to him, that which he could not comprehend, and he studied them during the six rainy months. The language of creation. Baria, Hebrew, the language of creation. The language of creation. Yada yada yasha. Praise Shahiyasha, praise the Mosai Yah. All right. If you would like to learn the language, the language of creation, Abari Alashan, then you can simply go to Etsy, E T S Y, and purchase Safar Abari Alashan ebook at any time. The store. 
that is on Etsy in order for you to purchase this book. It's called Asaria, your highest store. All right. So that'd be A T S A R A Y A H. Asar Aya Asaria. All right. Also, you can go to Staples. And get it printed out or easily print it out yourself to be able to create a physical copy like this, which will be very useful for you as I am trying to publish the physical copy myself. The color, thick pages, the full truth. I have a shower. Good news. So, my question to you all is how are we, you, teaching the name of the Most High and his set apart doctrines without knowing his ancient language that they were created in? Shalom.